Hey friends, welcome to our February Ministry Field Report. Uh, this is Jolanda Camposano. Hey! Many of you recognize her from our Facebook Lives and basically everything else. Yeah, you're you're awesome. everywhere. Yeah. Uh, but her job with the ministry, she's our, our PR officer. And so she's joining me this month. We're standing outside of Shepherd's Gate. And there's some big news at Shepherd's Gate this month, right? Yes. Tell them about it. Yes. Yeah, so hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here today to tell you that Shepherd's Gate just turned 30 years old. The big 3-0. Yes, 3-0. So on Valentine's Day, 1993, our doors were open. And did you know what happened that night? I know, but I don't want to spoil it for them. Okay. You can tell them. So that night, we were so blessed to receive a mother, a soon-to-be mother, um, and she actually gave birth here on that same day. It is a very emotional um, season for us, but we're so happy that that got to happen here. So if you know of anyone that is turning 30 this year, that might be our kid, because we are looking for this person. We want to acknowledge how important that person is and the moms that stayed here that night. So we're so grateful for that. Yeah, absolutely. Word on the street is too that some of the staff here helped deliver that child that night. So if that baby is you, we'd love to tell your story <laughs> one day. That's such a weird thing to say, yeah. if that baby is you. Uh, so you've been busy with some other stuff this month as yes. well. You are, we're up in Cherokee County. We have some exciting news coming out of Cherokee. What's happening up there? I am so happy to inform you all that on January 17th, we broke ground Jacob, our new brand new entrance in a new transitional house for women experiencing homelessness will launch this coming year. It will be in close proximity to jobs and transportation and celebrate recovery. It will be a great asset for the ministry and for the Cherokee County community. Yeah, so so big news in Cherokee. Uh, we're excited about that. Uh, that that's we're getting pretty close to having a transitional facility for both men and women for all of our adult rescue missions, all of our adult facilities. Period across the board. So that's yes. big news. Yeah. Uh, and other news this month, you know, we have our Miracle Hill banquet coming up on March 14th. And we're hoping that you will come. It is a fundraising banquet. It's it's the one event a year that we tell people, hey, if you come, uh, you know, we're excited for you to be there. But we also want you to consider making a donation to support the programs here at Miracle Hill. If you remember, every single night we've got about 650 people in our care, and this is our biggest fundraising event of the year. And it provides uh, operational funding for our counselors, for food, for shelter, for everything throughout the course of the year. So that's that's coming up. And if you want more information about that, you can find it on our website. You can go to miraclehill.org forward slash banquet. Uh, additionally, and this is probably the thing I'm most excited to talk about. This is big news. This is huge news. We have something coming out right now. We're announcing it to you. We have a Miracle Hill app that is a help kit app. I believe, I think we believe that this mm -hmm. is going to be uh, revolutionary. It's going to be game changing for you. Uh, you know, one of the things that people experience when they're when they're trying to find aid or when they're trying to find a place to stay is they get bounced around from organization to organization, whether they're looking for food or you know, utility assistance. We at Miracle Hill know what we do and what we do best, and that is shelter. We, we have recovery programming. We do foster care. We have a food ministry. We have transitional housing. We have those things. There are a lot of things that we don't do too. And so we have put together an app in one place where you can, you can if you're in need, go use this app and, and find the services that you need, whether they're at Miracle Hill or they're part of uh, another organization. We have a other resources section on the app that people can use. I guess the thing I'm most excited about is that this tool will be uh, for you kind of your, your average person in the community, maybe your average church member, somebody who wants to help, and maybe you don't know how to help. Maybe you encounter someone on the side of the road and, and you don't know what to do. You know, they're holding a sign or, or maybe they just look like they need some assistance. We want to put this tool in your hands so that you can share that app with them. Not only can you say, hey, look right here, here's a shelter in Greenville County. Here's a shelter in Spartanburg County. You can also say, here's some, you can download the app yourself. You can let them scan the QR code on the app and then they can use that app themselves to find all of the different things that they need. We've got some additional things on there too, like ways to volunteer. Uh, you can see our Stories of Rescue series, a series that I'm incredibly proud of. It's our video series that we release once a month, a powerful testimony video about what God is doing at Miracle Hill because of you guys. 
you extend the hope of Jesus Christ to people when you support Miracle Hill. And, and we get to tell those stories every month. And it's an honor to be able to do that. But ladies, like the guests who stay here, are going to be featured there. And, uh, and you'll be able to see their stories there too. So we're super excited. What so do you want to tell So I have a phone. Yes. So I have a smartphone right here. Yes. So I just, how do I do it? There are, there are a lot of ways that you can find the app. One, you can go, if you're on Android, you can go to the Google Play Store. You can search Miracle Hill Help Kit. You can also find it on the Apple uh, Store. What do they call that thing? App the App Store. Store. There we go. <laughs> the App Store. You can find it there too. Uh, we can also put the QR code right here on the screen. If you happen to be watching on a desktop, you could scan it with your mobile phone and you can find it that way. There are lots of ways that you can find it, but we want you to have it because it's an incredible tool and we believe it's going to change the game for people in need and for people like me and you. So thank you guys, that's it for this month. Uh, unless Jolanda's got something tucked away she wants to say. No, I'm good. Thank you so much for listening to this. Um, but I also wanna say thank you volunteers, thank you churches, thank you donors, yeah. thank you everyone that has a um, impact in the community and just help us um, communicate all the things that we are doing. Thanks to you, we get to celebrate 30 years here. And th yeah. thanks to you, we get to use our phones and the technology to bless our homeless community. Absolutely. We need you. We thank you. God bless you.